Hello and welcome to Tuesdays with Annette. It's Home Egg with Annette. We're in the kitchen, I've got my apron on and I'm ready to make a fabulous recipe and I hope you've downloaded it from the website if you don't have book five because today, yes, we're going into book five which is a fabulous cookbook and we're going to be making pikelets. I know! Are you excited? Because I am because we're going to get to eat them at the end of the show. So it's super fabulous. Now, before we start, Let's go wash our hands because we need to get that out of the way. So I'm just going to go up to my soapy sink and just do a 20 second wash. It's always good to get everything out of the way first. And I'll go over the um, ingredients we need in a minute, plus as well as the props or the equipment that we need to make pikelets. But uh, this is a, a, an easy recipe, but it can be hard um, if you fall into a few traps. So we're going to fix that today. So this is going to be easy for you. All right. Now we had three very excited winners from last week's show, which was the garlic prawns. And so Erica Scott, first time winner, she's super excited. And Jess Gordon is also another winner, as well as Pam Gordon. I'm wondering, are you related ladies? I need to know this, don't we, everybody? So, Erica, Jess, Pam, well done. You're all getting a Percy signed copy of book one. And what you did to win that was you posted a picture of your garlic prawns. So, today, pikelets. Now, I'm, I'm doing this recipe because I've had it requested. That's right, I listened to you. Someone, or actually a couple of people said, I really struggle with pikelets. Could you show me how to do them? See, this is all it takes, is talk to me, and look, here we go. So I hope you're interested in this recipe like I am because it's one that, I, I don't know, I've been making it for 100 years because it's so great as for kids as well. Right, so we're gonna use a bowl to mix it all in. I've got my electric beater because I'm gonna beat the egg whites up and the sugar. I've got my trusty little nonstick electric fry pan here, um, so I'm gonna make them in that. And that's the thing is, make sure you, when you're doing your pie, it's, your pan is a really good, uh, pan that doesn't stick because there's nothing worse than sticky pikelets okay you don't want that I've got cooking spray I've got some cling, cling wrap here to cover my margin in a minute but I've also got my egg lifter my flipper my wooden spoon I've got a scraper a spoon measure spoons um, I've got quite a few different sort of um, cups to use in the mix mixing of it all but we also for this recipe we need two egg whites, you want two tablespoons of sugar, we also need a tablespoon of margarine, so that's 15 grams um, if you wanted to do it by spoon or measure it by weight. We're going to use also, what's happening? Oh okay, so do we come back or what? We keep going? Okay. Hang in there. Okay, hello. <laughs> Something was wrong with the battery on the sound. Now tell me, are you hearing me better now? Does that work? Because Bill's just put a new battery in and it's fine. All right, so where were we? We were talking about pikelets and the ingredients we need. So sorry about that, um, but we, you know that's live for you, isn't it? So we want two egg whites. We want 15 grams or a tablespoon of margarine. We want two tablespoons of sugar, white sugar, half a teaspoon of vinegar, and I'll talk about that in a minute, a cup of milk, skim milk of course, and one and a half cups of self-raising flour. So the good news is that, you know, pretty well, you'll have this in your pantry mostly all the time, so you can always whip it up. Alrighty, so let's get started. So what I want to do first, is, hello, if you've just joined me, I'm sorry we had a bit of a late start with it all because we had to stop for a minute and uh, we had to fix the battery. So I'm making pikelets from book five. I know, it's also in cooking for one or two. And you can make a dozen out of this or today, like the recipe makes two dozen. So you get 24 pikelets. All right, so now I'm gonna measure my flora light I want 15 grams. I, I tend to do this. I don't tend to like bother with the spoon so much, but you can sort of do it however you like. There we go. 
So that's a tablespoon or 15 grams. So let me just get my cling wrap out. There we go. I like to put a bit of cling wrap over it so it doesn't spit all over the place in the microwave because who can be bothered cleaning your microwave every five minutes? So in it goes. So you get your margarine. Are you doing it with me now? So we're doing the margarine first, okay? And get that out of the way. I'm going to put my power on to seven because uh, mine goes to um, from 10 and I'm going to do 20 seconds and we'll just leave it there. So have you got your marge sorted? I can get rid of my scales now. Turn them off and let's get started. Okay, so now I've got my electric beater as well because I want to beat the egg whites up and um, so we crack in two whites. Remember the old and it's sim way is what do we do with the egg yolks? We chuck them out. That's right. Some of them were saying that they give them to their pets. And I really want to just say to you, be careful with that because they get uh, fatty livers, just like we do, from eating too many saturated fats. So you want to be careful when you're doing egg yolks with pets, especially the dogs. Look, one a week is absolutely fabulous. It gives them a little bit of a shiny coat, but not more than that, to be honest. All right, so two egg whites, two tablespoons of sugar, and we're going to beat that up. Let me just turn it on. All right, so you just want to beat that for a minute just to get it all, the sugar dissolved in with the egg white. Thanks for joining me today. Now, of course, you know that this recipe is on the website if you really want to cook it with me uh, and you haven't done it yet. Well, that's where you'll find the recipe if you don't have book five. All right. Now, I can actually move this out. Oh, I unplugged the wrong one. It's confusing because my I need to get a new beater because it's not working very well. And um, so I went to Kmart to get another one. They've got nothing in the shop. It was crazy. Have you been to Kmart and seen what, how little there is? Okay, so now we're going to do something a little bit interesting. So we put in a cup of the skim milk. And this is where you put your vinegar in. Now, the reason you put vinegar in is to kind of slightly sort of curdle it. I know that sounds weird, but it's how the recipe is. It really is something that's important to put in it. So you want half a teaspoon of white vinegar. And so don't worry if it reacts to it, but it just gives it a bit of a, it's sort of like a buttermilk in a way. It's that type of thing. And then just mix that together. Now, get your margarine out of the microwave and we're going to put that in with the milk. All right. So, so far we've beaten our egg whites and the sugar. You're up keeping up with me. We've melted the margarine and now we pour it in. Oh, no, actually I'll do it this way. It's easier. Pour it in with that because that way you get all the melted butter in there and that cools it down and it's fantastic. Now we pour that in. This is where you get your trusty wooden spoon out and mix it up. Now the good news is pikelets are one of those recipes that are so easy to make and they freeze really well. Like you can put them in, I used to make like double batches because then I'd have a batch and then put a batch in the freezer. And what I loved about that was that you could just pop them out like bread. You know how you can do that with bread? All right, so now we need one and a half cups of flour, self-raising flour. And we want one and a half cups. That looks great. Now, sift it in. If by chance you go, I've only got plain flour at home in it, then what you would do is you'd use plain flour, but then you'd have to sift in as well three teaspoons of baking powder. And that kind of just makes it self-raising flour. So I'd just like to give you different ideas along the way. All right, so there is our flour. There's everything in there now. And 
we just mix it together. So we've done egg whites, sugar, the margarine, the milk, the vinegar, and now the self-raising flour. And we'll use cooking spray so it doesn't stick. There you go. See, look how beautiful does that pikelet mix look? And how easy is it? All right. So now we can start cooking. So let me move this out of the way. Let me get rid of my props here. And let's turn the electric fry pan on. So now what you want to do is this, so there's a couple of tricks with pikelets. At this point, we're fabulous. It's no problem at all. If you find the mixture gets a little bit thick, then just add a little bit more milk and it'll be fine, okay? But the other thing that I find happens with uh, pikelets is people have the heat too hot and then they burn and you don't want that. So you just got to watch your temperature. Like I put it on full to start and then once I start getting it in there, I'll turn it down to probably about seven on my fry pan uh, because you want it to be a medium heat, not a hot heat. All right, so the other trick, let me show you, is pouring them in, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pikelet mix into this. Now it's a, a um, measure cup with a spout and I want that so it helps but also I find it very um, uncomfortable to hold a like a big glass bowl here while I'm doing it all and I find that by doing it this way it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just showing you how I do it and how easier it is for me and so hopefully it might be for you as well because I'm all about easy. All right so now you can either pour but I like to just measure it by the spoon. And then once that's in there, when I put the spoon in, it's about that, I move the mixture around so I get the lovely round pikelet shape that we want. Now we're going to make 24 out of this mix, so you don't want to get too carried away and be too generous. And uh, so now that's starting to cook. And interesting enough, like I'll just show you, there they are, sizzling away, very delicious. I've got my little um, turner. Now, the, the traps with pikelets, I'm going to just start turning that down now, is that, you know, people get very awkward with pouring it in and it makes a mess. You know, this is, this is definitely the easiest way to go with pikelets. The other is that they use a pan that's not really... Um, non-stickish so that they get stuck so we don't want that so get a good pan and the other thing is you overcrowd the plate like you know like when you're doing it you put too many in so what I'm doing is I'm going to turn it now I'll show you in a minute I only do four at a time because that's all I can cope with I don't want too many more otherwise they go all over the place so there hello they look bubbles. So as I said, if I had six in here, it'd be just a bit harder to do. I'm only making 24, so that's fine. Now I've got a plate. So you want a plate to be able to put them as you go. And I might just turn that down a little bit more. And we just got to wait for them to cook. It only takes a few minutes on each side. But can I tell you, while we're waiting for the flip, is that the pikelets are actually originated from which country do you think? Hmm? Well, hold that thought. Now, what I'm doing is I'm touching them at the top and they're firm. Perfect. That's looking great. They're a good size. Hopefully, I'm going to get 24 out of it. It's a bit hard, really. You know, you've got to do your best you can. But each one, so get your mixture, move it around. Just turn that down a little bit. So it's just the same thing until you get 24 delicious homemade pikelets. Now, they originated from which country, do you think? Australia. I know. We invented pikelets. I mean, UK, they call them more like a crumpet. 
and in the US they call them griddle cakes. So here's my four again. So you can see there, they're cooking away nicely. Always remember to spray between, so I'll show you one more time. There you go. And um, interesting, like I just thought that was interesting that Australia and New Zealand know what pikelets are. I remember when I launched my American cookbook and I had pikelets in there, they would say to me, what's a pikelet? And I'd be going, um, like a flapjack? Small, I, I didn't know what to say when they did it, but obviously that's why, because it's Australian. Now, the other thing that I want to mention here is, um, you know, I use Flora Light in all my recipes and a lot of people, you know, people say, oh, margarine, it's just so bad. Well, American it is. Unfortunately, in America, their pikelets, I mean, their pikelets, their margarine is not great. Um, but Australians, um, if you look online and you're reading literature about how bad margarine is, I guarantee it's from America. It's not the Australian margarine. Our margarine is way better. All right, so I'm going to flip again and just make sure you've got a plenty of room there. See how it's nice to be able to have the room to flip them? See? This is where I want the camera down here so you can see. We might have to build a whole studio. But you know what else I'm so excited about? Oh my gosh, in six days time, I know it's like next Monday, we're going to be starting the new winter weight loss challenge. Oh my God. Look, and, and one of the things I really love about this program, not the fact that I created it, but the people. It's the people that sign up and get involved because I just love them to bits. And I also notice how great they are with each other. Like you get onto the, um, you join our closed Facebook community group and in there they just love each other. They, it's, you know, when it's someone's having a bad day or even a bad week sometimes, they just pick them up and just give them a cuddle over the Facebook. Um, they, they also cheer along, you know, when people's had a, people had a good week. It's so great to brag and everyone's just is so happy for each other. Gosh, it's, it's just, I've never had anything like it where so people are so open and loving. Now the thing is you also so remember, we're going to do another four. The other thing about the program that I really like is that you get access to me. So you know, normally you wouldn't be able to have that, but by this, by joining my program, you get to um, email me directly if you wish uh, with any questions or concerns you have. And I like that because it's then I can tailor it individually for you. And that's what it's about. We're all different, so we want to make sure that everyone is on the same page and loving the program. And it's so easy to follow. And plus, oh my gosh, new menu plans. Six weeks, 42 days, best menu plans ever. It's got food in there that you're gonna go, Annette, can I really eat this? Yes, oh yes you can, it's all calculated, trust me. So you're not gonna be bored or missing out. So you know what, no more said. Sign up, join me, it's gonna be fabulous. I love the program and I'm really excited to get started on Monday. Woohoo! I know. So, pikelets. This is our third batch. How are you keeping up with me? Now, one of the things that you've got to be careful of is the add-ons. Hello? Hello? You know, with scones, of course, you add dripping butter to it, whatever. Pikelets, you don't eat them on their own. You always want to have something on top of them. So, with this recipe, there is a variation and you can put in to the plain mix half a cup of sultanas, which I really favour that. That's how I tend to make them a lot of the time because all you need is a light coating of the margarine and it's good to go. But, Bill, get the um, dairy whip out of the fridge for me because if you want to have jam and cream on it, then a light coat of jam. And this is what I would suggest, a squirt of this. This is the um, light whipped cream you get in the supermarket. It's aerated, so it really is quite um, light. So it's not dense like you, you know, normal thickened cream. All right, so let me turn. Oh my gosh, someone's just asked if you can do them gluten-free. Well, yes, of course. I have, have actually trialled them, uh, like the other day, gluten-free. And, I know, stop it, dairy-free. They were magnificent. I did them with um, the loaf, the, what did I use, the milk, the almond milk, instead of the skim milk. I used the dairy-free margarine and I used gluten-free self-raising flour. Wouldn't have known the difference. I mean, I was a bit impressed. 
um, because I, who, who knew that the flour is getting so much better now with the gluten-free. So yes, there's your option. The other thing you can do is you can make them banana. Yes. I've got, the, I've got the pikelets in book five, and this is also in Cooking 102, but in book one, you've got banana pikelets. And what you do there, it's a little bit different. You mash the banana in. So check that one out because that's another one that only needs that little bit of margarine on the top if you wish. And remember, they are great frozen. Now, let's see how we're going. All right, that looks like they're, look how fabulous they look. Now I'm going to do another four in here, but I might leave you with it because I think, you know, you, you've got the picture, haven't you? You've got to make another few yourself. Now, if you want to win book five, it's easy. All you've got to do is like, share, and on this show, you have to take a photo of your pikelets, because I want to see you bragging, and then I'm going to pick three people. So you, the only way you win a cookbook is by putting your picture up of the recipe, which is pikelets. I mean, when you look at this, I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? I know, fantastic. Now, next week's show, no, no, Thursday. Oh, I'm back on Thursday. I love the two shows and thank you for supporting them. So on Thursday, I'm doing uh, chicken and spinach lasagna out of book three. It is such a great, clever recipe of a lasagna. It's different from the you know, normal tomato-based one. So check that out on Thursday. And I'm gonna be back again in the, off in the office, in the kitchen, see this is my office. I'm gonna do uh, Tuesdays with Annette. I'm doing a recipe that is a big favorite of Miss Diane. That's right, she loves sticky pork chops out of book four. So I thought, let's make that together. So you'll be able to get the recipe from the website. Don't forget, download it if you don't have book four. And it is going to be such a favourite in your house, I'm sure, if you haven't tried it. So for now, I'm going to say, keep going. Get your pikelets happening. And remember, I'll be here on Thursday, usual time. And remember, everything in moderation is the key to weight loss success. Take care. Bye now.